So this continues our series of short videos showing the Hamilton Microlab 600 and we're focusing on some of the applications that the system can use because whilst it is uh, often described as a dispenser or a diluter it can be used for a multitude of tasks in liquid handling with using the custom programming functions and the wizards that are within the instrument. Hamilton have developed a series of applications which includes a multi-sample addition this is particularly useful when we're preparing standards uh, to calibrate instrumentation or tuning solutions um, when we have a series of standards as a combination mix. So as we're not in the laboratory today, we're showing a demonstration whereby we're going to be using uh, some uh, solutions of coloured dyes to allow you to see the movement of fluid. Uh, but we're also showing some extended functionality of the instrument uh, in uh, using additional bolt-on equipment. So we'll be addressing the multi-element standards and we're going to be showing an example of preparing standards which include uh, in this instance five different elements using stock concentrations of CRMs which have their own lot traceability with defined information of the products on uh, extended value and uncertainty. So first we'll be looking at the uh, wizard function and then afterwards we're going to be looking at some custom program functions. So we're saving uh, the uh, wizard program into our custom menu which you'll see and what we're able to do is add additional information to the individual lines giving text detail which describes what the operator should be doing next. This allows us to follow a uh, workflow generated from your SOPs to ensure that all operatives are doing uh, following exactly the same technique and procedure and we will also be showing um, the use of a barcode reader which will allow us to input the ID of each of the standards used giving traceability back to the original CRM manufacturer's uh, lot uh, and batch traceability. So we're going to look at one of the wizard functions which is the multi-sample preparation. So this function here, so we'll see how we select it in the wizard program and it initiates the screen. As we're not in a laboratory environment today, I um, intend to demonstrate the uh, process by using uh, coloured food dyes so you can see the differentiation of the sample pickup and we'll go through the process that you would be using in the laboratory environment. So as part of preparing a standard, uh, we would first determine the total amount of volume that we wish to prepare. This is selectable uh, in this mode here. Um, the syringe that we have uh, in place here is a 10 mil syringe. The syringe can cycle the number of times you require to make the total volume. We are able to select syringes uh, on the diluent side from potentially um, a 1 mil syringe right through to a 50 mil syringe uh, to allow you to select volumes that are appropriate. So within this we're going to select and we're going to make a total volume of 25 mil so we can select and enter 25 mils as you can see here. Now at the moment we haven't input any standards but I've actually worked my dilution profiles for standards I wish to prepare and I'm going to edit that to put these particular uh, standards in so I can add a line and what we're doing here is able to put a air gap, an air gap into the system between each sample to, to we are seeing separation before the materials are dispensed. So I'm going to put in a 5 microliter air gap and the first amount of sample here is a 625 microliter aliquot uh, followed by a variety of the ones so we can actually put the standard set I'm making a five element standard here today. I would have previously calculated the dilution ratios to make the concentrations I wish to do with the stock solution.
Now when I actually recycle back to the program, you can see that we have the final volume shown. And the first step is ready to be initiated from uh, the run command, which is to aspirate the volume required of diluent. The diluent is corrected to allow uh, the total amount to be 25 mils. So as you can see here, the diluent volume in total is 23,450 microliters, which obviously is deducted for each of the individual standards sampled. So we'd completed programming uh, the wizard, and you may recall by looking at this edit function, it actually allows us to confirm the volumes that we're going to be aspirating with the air gaps that we've requested the system to make between sample additions. So you can see that the wizard formats gives us a straightforward and simple way of actually preparing a standard. We work out the concentrations we want, so we can aspirate the amounts of sample in each instance, put air gaps on and, and produce a complex mix uh, of a multi-element standard. But we can actually improve on that further by um, saving the program into our custom folder. And it allows us to put some in additional information on, which is instructional text as to steps that the user needs to take uh, into account. Um, and it follows the workflow you have for preparing a standard. And it also allows us to put in uh, to the system some other pieces of equipment which integrates with the Hamilton Microlab, and this includes a barcode reader. Um, for that, you'll see the apparent uh, benefits that that brings. So that was the program we just ran. I can go into saving that program uh, into our custom program format, and if I accept that, it actually allows us to give it a name. I've already saved this as a name, and added some instructional text, which will explain obviously how um, that goes on. So I'll cancel that for a moment. I'm going to come out of Wizards, back into the main menu, and we can see here we actually have custom methods shown. So I can select custom methods. And within custom methods, I'm going to scroll down to the method I've created uh, for this particular application, which is a multi-sample um, demonstration. So we'll select that and run that program. Now what this has done uh, straight away is it gives us a header to tell me that this is a stand that requires these particular standards. It's a lanthanum, manganese, magnesium, potassium and sodium standard. And what I have there in front of me is those standards. And what I've actually done for the purpose of demonstration here, and because we're not in a lab, whilst these are the standards, I've actually used here some uh, food dye colours again to allow you to see more clearly the aspiration dispensing uh, because of the uh, potent nature of the colours. So it, this is a step, it's actually told us it requires these standards and that's quite correct and I can now say I want to run this program. The first part of the step was exactly as we did in our, our wizard program. It's aspirated the first amount of diluent, but it's, it's asked me to select the length of 10,000 parts per million standard, which I have. And I will select it and I can actually select that in the program. It now asks us to enter the lot ID. And if I scan that under, the lot ID you know is actually included and I can save that. And now I can take the probe out and start the process because as you can see it's actually now named the lot reference. I can now pick up that standard. I'm going to go to the next step which actually is asking me to aspirate uh, 625 microliters to the standard. So exactly the same as the other step, pop that in. As you can see I've picked up 625 microliters. It's then asked me to aspirate an air gap and wipe tip again. So I've done just that and I can wipe the tip. It's now asked me to select the manganese sample which I have and I can um, take the next step on, enter the lot ID, you can see in the display, and then we can scan that. So what we have is complete traceability on the standards we're actually using. Um, we now pick up the next uh, material, so it's actually asking us to aspirate that, 300 microliters. Pick up here again, and then wipe the tip as it's 
extracted. Next step was the uh, magnesium. So we can actually look at that. We have enter in the lot ID. It's confirmed. Save that. Confirming that on the display. Press acknowledge and now it's asking me to aspirate the next volume, 125 microliters. Pick up air gap and wipe the tip. And now selecting potassium standard. I can enter the lot ID again. Save. And now we can go to that, pick up that next step which is 250 microliters. Pick up air gap, wipe tip as instructed there. Selecting the last one, which was sodium. Enter the lot ID. Confirm. And then we can aspirate the last amount of material there, which is 125 microliters next material. Pick up air gap again, map the tip, and the final step, as we previously, is to dispense into a vial. So as you can see, um, we've added some additional information to record the lot reference and the standard itself, the information regarding the standard. In a straightforward manner to allow us to get the complete traceability of that new standard, which I said before was 250, 120, 100 and 100 parts per million of each of the reference materials. And because that works along your standard workflow, this means that each time we do that, it will be exactly the same.